Uh, hi all, welcome back. Today I'm going to perform a small video on how to uh, migrate uh, management servers from RAD.10 to RAD.40. So this is my small topology in that I have a SMS server and gateway with the RAD.10 and one management PC. So I have already configured the roles. Uh, the gateway is already integrated with the SMS server and have already configured the rules and few of the rules like management role I have allowed a SSH Genesis DBS and internet access test rule so I will quickly check with the connectivity part so I will ping to the Google DNS so I have a connectivity so in this uh, actually it's a simply dot 30 to r 80.10 migration so first what we have to do is we have to export the migra uh, database from the r80.10 and import the same uh, with the r80.40 so with the help of migration tool uh, i have already downloaded this from a uh, checkpoint portal so I will use this migration tool uh, to export the uh, our database. So I have already logged into the WinSCP. I am in a root folder. So I have to go to var in that time folder. So in that uh, I will upload this migration tool to this folder. So it, it will take a while. So meanwhile, I will pause this video once it comes back. So okay, migration tool uploaded successful to the stamp folder. So I will what I will do is I will go to this folder and I will extract this file. So the, after that, I will uh, export to uh, export the database. So for that, cd slash slash stamp. LRT. Okay, here is the file. So to extract, I will uh, mention tar hyphen xf and that file name. I think it's got extracted. Let me clear the screen and ls hyphen LRT and I will do a migrate export and the file name so this one is sms hyphen r 80 dot 10 tzz so do you want to continue yes i want to continue so before this proceeding further so let me close all the management uh, sms server so dashboard and all so so it will take some time so meanwhile i will pause this video once it's done i will back okay here you can see that once after completion of database so it will uh, give you the, the account path will be saved on this path so you can export that uh, file from uh, your in from this uh, pass to your de desktop so you can easily import this exported file to r80.40 all right it's got copied here so what we will do is we will graceful shut down the r80.10 and uh, we will bring up the r80.40 device Yes, the device is going down, so we will bring up the R80.40 device. This is up and running, so we will log in with uh, default. So now it's asking for the first time wizard, so we will configure the first time wizard. So first we will check the what IP address is there. So it's connected to if one interface. So if one is nothing is there, we will configure with the same IP address. 
set interface it one IPv4 address and the uh, 192.168.10.11 mask length is 24 and bring out the interface up set interface it one straight on and save content and then we will go to the browser login with admin credentials okay now the first time is that time uh, we look is got pop up so we will configure this one click on next continue the region 14 and default gateway is uh, on next it one interface and i will name this as primary dns screen data data date click on next 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 so I want this as a management server. So click on next, 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 next. So this uh, will start the configuration process. Uh, you want to continue? Yes. So it will take a couple of minutes. So let me pause this video. Configuration completed successfully. So we will log into the C uh, GUI. Okay, it's up and running. Can okay, need to download the uh, smart console from here. So I click on download. Okay, meanwhile, we'll go to user account and we will provide the bash access to this user. NSP we have 192.168.10.11 with admin user admin and password is admin account to three so right now in admin so i need to go to the root and option is out in that cp suit r80.40 cp suit r80.40 here we go and in that firewall one in folder in that main folder you can able to find the upgrade tools so we will go to this folder and we will import that extracted exported uh, file it will take a couple of minutes so i will back once it's done it's got imported so we will go to this path and we will extract that exported uh, a file so directly you can copy the path from here as you can go via uh, CLI, Krishma, CD and I have already copied the path and can enter it directly or else you can check the pass password so it will take you to the upgrade tools and so let me see the what all the items are there and the second LRT so we are able to see the path here so to import that one so we'll dot slash migrate import and whatever the file name we have copy and enter so do you want to continue yes i want to continue so it's extracting the database and okay so you can see that stopping the services so i will pause this video i will come back with once it's done finally the import operations completed successfully do you wish to start a checkpoint services as i would like to then click uh, select as I already downloaded the console so we are, I have already installed it let me log in with, with that one first I'll log down checkpoint r18 smart console r80.40 click on smart console r80.40 it's giving me the fingerprint so let me proceed so we can see here uh, the name is r80.10 gateway and SMS server is 
already wrapped an SMS but if you see the version the gateway is showing already wrote in and the version of the SMS server is already dot 40 okay first we will see the policies we are able to see the, all the policies and let me check the connectivity we have the connectivity and we we'll try to push the policy to the gateway the policy uh, to the gateway installed successfully so we can see the uh, message as well so i hope uh, think we have done with the migration from r80.10 to r80.40 so i hope uh, this video has been informative for you and i would like to say thank you for watching